wow, these things, uh, you see the flame, the fire's going right now. This thing, I'm baked in here. I gotta get out of here quick. I'm gonna shoot this video as fast as I can to your great advantage. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about Winterwell stoves. Uh, I think a wood stove is a viable consideration for a lot of you. If you are somewhere cold or in, the, well, say, Pacific Northwest or anywhere on the East Coast, really, Midwest, anywhere but really, anywhere but the desert, Southwest, anywhere else in the country, you're dealing with cold. So how are you going to stay warm in the winter? Well, some of you just choose not to have any heat. And you can do that, but boy, that's not the most pleasant thing in the world. Some of you choose either a propane or diesel heaters, and those are good choices, except you're burning a lot of uh, fossil fuels, you're spending a lot of money, you're carrying around the propane and the diesel. Um, and so, you know, those are viable solutions. They can be expensive to install if you buy a really good diesel heater. Otherwise, you can buy a $100 uh, Mr. Buddy or a $100, I think they're more like $150, $200 now, uh, pro diesel heater, Chinese diesel heater. But another option uh, is if you are able to carry a tent, I'm in a spring bar, big spring bar, uh, 10 by 14, and I've also got uh, several bell tents. I'm testing them all here. But if you can be, stand living in a tent, you can carry the tent around, you can set the tent up, National Forest. Wow, these things, uh, you see the flame, the fire's going right now. This thing, I'm baked in here. I gotta get out of here quick. I'm gonna shoot this video as fast as I can to your great advantage um, and get out of here because that thing's burning me out of here. And if you're in the National Forest, there's an unlimited supply of wood. And I've kept wood in these milk crates to keep it dry and warm. As soon as you burn one, you bring another one in to keep it dry and warm because it's going to be snowing outside and your wood's going to be wet. So that way you keep yourself a good dry warm. Uh, you build a lot of fires, man. The first thing I'd do is buy one of these. These are about 20 bucks and you can um, just start a fire instantly. No muss, no fuss, just boom, you got a fire. It's no harder than going out and collecting dead and down wood. Um, or getting a permit to bring some firewood down. Well, in the Northwest, where you've got those cold, damp, dreary uh, uh, winters, you do not want propane because it's pumping more moisture into the air. Wood stove dries the air. If you're in the Pacific Northwest, a wood stove in a tent is the perfect, perfect, perfect solution. And you might even think about considering one of these inside. You've got a schoolie. This would fit, this is the large, this would fit inside your schoolie real well. All the way down to a van. If you have a, a, a full-sized van and you want to put the Nomad small, we'll look at that. We'll see all three sizes. They also have a medium. One of those three, the, the Winterwell small, medium, and large, one of those three will fit any rig you have. So this is a consideration for a lot of you. Now, the, the question is which one to buy. There are a lot of good ones. I'm not saying Winterwell is the only good one. I'm saying Winterwell is a superior one. You can't much hardly buy a better stove. It's all 304 stainless steel, super quality construction, super quality welds. Uh, you can buy them as complete kits with everything you need. It comes with the, the stove, the, uh, the carrying handles are attached here. I can't touch them now. And it comes with uh, not the 45, but it comes with straight pipe enough to go right through this roof. You really need one of these silicone uh, nylon jacks to put it in there so it, it's a little safer. Uh, but essentially everything you need comes in the kit and they range from, I think around 250 for the Nomad. Look that up, it changes all the time. It might've changed by now. Up to about 400 for the large. So they're not cheap, but they're gonna last you a very, 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 very long time. I think it's money well spent. Which one should you buy? You buy strictly on size, which everyone will work for you the best. Well, a huge advantage to large is if you go to the store and buy a bundle, then it comes in 16 inch. That's kind of a universal standard. The 16 will comfortably fit in here. But if you have to put in a six inch, then you have to make three cuts to one cut. And if you're out there doing this, that's no fun. So. The large puts out more st more heat. It will burn slightly longer overnight. That's good. Buy on size. So now let's go look at the burn in. I'll burn them in and I'll have a direct comparison of size between the three of them. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we've got all three of the stoves set up here. That's the large, that's the medium, this is the small. 
So what I want you to notice right away is just how short this stack is. Uh, this won't clear any of the tents I own. This You have to order more pipes because this is just not enough. So I just ordered some more. So I ordered two extensions and I also ordered, it does, none of them come with a double wall or triple wall protector. And you really want a double or triple wall protector. I'll, I'll open this up and show you exactly what it is. So this is a single wall. It's just a tube, nothing else. With a triple wall, it's a tube and outside of it, another tube and outside of it, a third tube. So what happens is it can allow heat to go through the tube, cooling the tube itself, and then uh, the heat isn't pressing up against your tent. Your tent's just fabric ready to, to catch fire. So this is designed only for where you go through the wall. You wouldn't put it anywhere else. So you can see the difference between a single wall and a triple wall, and there's just no comparison. And this is designed to let heat escape through here. It's just a thermodynamic principle that heat will be rise, be pulled up, and then, I think it pulls up this way, and then you're gonna have a uh, much safer stove. So now you can see, I've got some height. So I had to order this piece, this piece, and this piece. And they actually make a leg extension, which raises it up off the ground. You can see that the, the, the large is much higher off the ground, the medium is medium up off the ground, the small is right on the ground. And that's one of the reasons why it doesn't have any reach. And you'll also notice the difference in color. This is discolored. These are just still still the normal silver color. That's because I burned this one in. We'll build, burn both of these in before they go inside and get used inside. So let me now show you up close a difference in the three sizes. It's, it's really pretty dramatic. To give you an idea of the size comparison, here is the small Nomad sitting on top of the large woodlander. It's big <laughs> by comparison. It's, it's very, very big. But there are some of you that the small is perfect. If you want to put it inside a van, uh, it's the perfect stove for inside a van. Made this, all these are made of 304 stainless steel. They're super high quality stainless steel. This is just, uh, I think it's the best stove made on the market, which is why I spent my money. I bought the uh, large and the small and they sent me the medium. So here again, the, is the medium sitting on stop on top of the large. And you can see it's, it's quite a bit larger. It's a pretty practical size. The medium could be too large for some of you. The small could be way too small. The medium might be perfect for some of you. It just depends on the size of your tent or your schoolie or, or whatever you're in, uh, whether you need the small or the medium or the large. The big advantage to the large, its length allows it to take standard size wood pieces. You go to the store and buy a, buy a piece of wood and that's usually 16 inches. So that will fit in here comfortably. This wood box on the large is 18 inches. And so that's a significant advantage. Um, with the medium, you're gonna to have to cut it down. And with the small, you're gonna to have to cut it like in half. So to my mind, that is a huge advantage. And you can keep it damped down so it doesn't bake you out. Um, but that's, I think hopefully this is a good size comparison. So here I've got a little pyramid of winter well stoves. There's the large, the medium, and the small. You know, it's one thing to read a measurement and try to imagine it, but here you can see it. There's the large on the bottom. You can see the body will fit almost completely in front of that stove pipe. And then the small behind that stove pipe. It's awfully windy today, so I'm not at all sure you're going to be able to hear this very well. But I'm doing the burn in on it, and uh, it's uh, doing real well. Cranking out the heat, the color is changing quickly. Close the door and I'm going to let them burn off, die down on their own. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the wind affected it. It might have blown away from the heat from them. 
But I think it's completely adequate burn in. They're very bronze. Although all the pipes are not. But I don't know. I'm not a wood stove expert, but they're burned in really good. The body is, and I'm not so sure about the pipes, but the pipes um, are mostly on the outside. So there you have it. You, as you've seen, I've, uh, I've compared the three sizes, the di advantages, disadvantages, um, and I just uh, think winter weld stove is the way to go. Um, I think you get a great stove at a, at a really good price that will be super durable. I have uh, videos on the spring bar tents, and they are designed to work with the winter well stoves. Uh, you can buy all the plumbing that you need here, the piping, the 45s, etc., as a kit. They're great. I love winter well. They, have, they come with my highest recommendation. Uh, they're, I'm not saying they're the only good stove. I'm saying they are a superior stove, and they're maybe better, but I think for bang for buck, that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. It gave you some ideas. If it did, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. And remember, don't wait to the end of your life to start living. Don't die with regrets. Don't re die with, oh, I wish I had if I could have. My life has been wasted. Live your highest quality life today. Don't, don't accept less. Bye now.